Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mustang here. How you guys been? It's been a while since I've put up a video. Well, at least it's been a while since YouTube's decided to publish a video. And, um, yeah. Uh, today I'm pretty happy I got a gameplay for you guys. It's a uh, Moab on uh, Underground. This gameplay was sent in by uh, Novastic Studios' very own 3i. Thank you, 3i, for the video. It's pretty good. Uh, so I went ahead and just put it up on the channel. I don't have much gameplays because I don't have a capture card. This literally is the only gameplay I'm going to have for a while. So unless I get gameplays from some of you guys, uh, nothing else is really going to happen. But, um, yeah. Until I get said gameplays, I'm just going to end up putting logos up on the back of the video to put to cover up my voice and whatnot. And bullsh isn't it? And, yeah. Uh, anyway, so today I'm just going to talk about what I feel about Infinity Ward and Modern Warfare 3. And not, like, guns or anything, but, like, the game itself, it's not appealing to me anymore. Like, I, I enjoy playing it, believe me, I really do enjoy playing the game, but I feel they screwed up. Take, for example, the scoreboard. Like, the scoreboards now, like in Black Ops, what Treyarch did, and I appreciate the fact that Treyarch did this. Uh, they put stuff that, like, the, um, what's it called? Uh, your kill-death ratio showed up in a team deathmatch. Uh, the amount of plants and diffuses and captures and stuff that you had in an objective game, they showed that. In Modern Warfare 3, they went back to straight Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4 stuff. They didn't tell you any of that. So all it is is whoever has the most kills and least deaths is the top of the leaderboard. That's it. That's all it is. In a search and destroy, if you plant the bomb, you'll get a thousand points added to your score. That'll put you on top of the leaderboard. But you don't know what those thousand points came from. You have to try and guess. It's really just annoying. Uh, I really think that Infinity War needs to get off their ass and see what Treyarch is doing. Because I know that they played Black Ops. And I, if they overlooked that fact, the fact that they put that stuff on the scoreboard, it's a small feature, but it makes a big difference. Because I've gone to like major gaming events like locally. And they base everything off a of scoreboard. They don't care, like, what's how many kills someone got on on the video that they watched. It all depends on the final score. And that depends on who gets to walk home with the trophy. In a free-for-all, it's whoever comes in first. But in a team deathmatch, the team that wins, whoever, whatever person's on the top of the leaderboard for that team is the one that takes home the trophy. The guy on the bottom who got all the captures doesn't walk home with the trophy. He got all the captures and everything, but he did not get a single kill. I mean, he got kills, obviously, but he's not on top of the scoreboard, so he doesn't get the trophy. The guy that sat there in the corner camping that got all the kills is the one walking away with the grand prize of the trophy and the money. And that's really, that's a bunch of bull to me that they didn't incorporate that small feature in there. Also, in theater mode, you can't pull up the scoreboard. I would like to see that I could see the scoreboard for that moment in time during the video in theater mode. They don't do that. They did that in Black Ops, but not in Modern Warfare 3. I think the only reason they still have theater mode is for the boosters, campers, and cheaters. I mean, come on. That's not enough. You gotta give the community what they want, too. I mean, I, I appreciate the fact that Infinity War was able to put in new game modes. Those new game modes are awesome. I like Team Defender a lot, and Kill Confirm is just a beast to play. Kill Confirmed is probably my favorite game mode at the moment. But yeah, <laughs> I just, I like Infinity Ward. I like their graphics engine. I like their, uh, the playability of the game. I just don't like the features that they leave out of previous Call of Duty titles. For example, let's go with another one. Um, when you're aiming down your sights, and there's like a, you're playing Domination, right? And you're aiming down your sights, and the flag is right there in front of you. In Black Ops, that flag symbol would disappear. But in Modern Warfare 3, it doesn't do it. So it's in the way. And if there's a guy that runs in front of it, you can't see where he is. That's really annoying, and they should really incorporate that into the next title. I mean, like I said, I appreciate what Infinity War does. I love the crap out of Modern Warfare 2. I played Black Ops. I didn't enjoy it as much as I should have. So I just went straight back to Modern Warfare 2. Then I picked up Black Ops about three weeks before Modern Warfare 3 came out. I got addicted to it, and I prestiged like three times. That's a lie. I prestiged like once, but I went through an entire prestige in like three weeks, which is pretty impressive for me at least, because I don't play much of 
video games to the point where it's like I'm logging in like 60 hours a day, which I know is impossible, but you get my point. I'm exaggerating. But, uh, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? The fact that they brought Overkill back, that's great. Infinity Ward, you did a pretty good pretty good pull there, because that really helps with sniping. If you're sniping on Search and Destroy, and you want to pull out, like, a machine pistol, or like a, not a machine, like a submachine gun or an assault rifle, you can do that now. You don't have to go kill someone and pick up their weapon just to do it. You could have it right from the start. And that's something that I really enjoyed in World at War, that they brought back in Modern Warfare 3. I mean, I can tell that they have the ability to take things and bring them back. I mean, that's obvious now. In wager matches, they didn't bring wager matches back into matchmaking. They brought it back into private matches. I think it's cool how you can customize what weapons you use and stuff, but I still think they should have brought it as a matchmaking because I don't just like playing with my friends. I like to play with randoms. I like to play public matches of wager match modes. My microphone just fell over. <laughs> but yeah, so... I think I'm done ranting. Uh, if you want to donate a gameplay to put over my next video... Uh, link to the email is in the description, or you can just Z put it on zshare.net and uh, PM me the link to the video, and I can download it from there. That's probably the easiest way for me to do it. And then I'll put my commentary over it. You include your gamer tag or your YouTube site, and I'll put that in the video and everything. So this has been Mustang. Needless to say, keep gaming. I completely ripped that off a of junkyard. I really need to come up with my own outro. Maybe I'll do that some other time. <laughs>